Hey y'all, T Han 141 here, and my friend Lynn over at Bucket List Homestead has started a hashtag, what does homesteading mean to you? I'll have that down uh, in the description along with all the links of everyone that is doing a video in the month of November for this. It's a chance to connect, and I always go for the chance to connect. Thank you, Lynn, for this opportunity. If I had to boil it all down, to one word, what homesteading means to me. I've got to go for freedom. Freedom. You know the old William Wallace on the thing. Freedom! Freedom! You know, that whole thing. The, the most important freedom to me, not that I'm a fearful person, but is freedom from fear. I do not have to be afraid of a blizzard that is coming in because my food stores give me that sense of security. My self-sufficiency to be able to plow myself in and out once the town catches up, you know. I am free from the fear of the shortages that are going on now. Yep, right now the United States has announced that we have 25 days of diesel fuel left. They better be making more. But you know what, without my tractor, I can still go on. Gas prices and shortages. Without my car, I can go on. I can hunker down here on the homestead, for the most part, for, for six or eight months, without having to go out and, and acquire more food. Because homesteading is that lifestyle marked by self-sufficiency. Being more self-sufficient, being more independent, alleviates the worry about the economy. My friend Remy from Rem's Family Farm put away 1,600 pounds of food. None of it was store-bought. It was gathered, hunted, grown, and foraged. Remy worked his butt off, but he's got food for his family. He's feeding seven people. Holy cow! That has got to feel good. He doesn't have to spend the normal amount of money that he normally would on food. He can put that in other areas of his life. I had actually a pretty good gardening season this year. It's gonna get better next year, stay tuned. But I put away a lot of food this, this year. And I, I have built up my pantry over the years so that I have that food security. So the economy gives me no fear. Being more self-sufficient than most consumers allows me to take a dollar in a seed or in a pursuit of meat or food for my chickens or food for my, my pigs. It increases, it multiplies exponentially. For that feed, I get ham something I can't eat, I get ham. For that feed, I get eggs. All my chickens are in moat, by the way, so. And I also have a source of meat with the chickens if I sh should choose to go that way. My lack of fear has a lot to do with my relationship with Jesus Christ because he has my tomorrow in his hand. Homesteading means multiplying my resources an ever-expanding array of resources. And along with that, I am building skills today that I can use tomorrow. If everything goes to pot tomorrow, I have the skills in my head and in the books that I have gotten. I can survive. I can make it. Homesteading means everything on my homestead has a piece of me in it. It was my idea or my labor, I do it my way. Sometimes that drives Trevor nuts. Sometimes I'm sure some of you guys are looking and saying, why are you doing that this way, man? It's so much easier to do it that way. But guys, this homestead is an expression of who I am, of what I hold dear. Every piece of this homestead, from the temporary chicken coop that's on its sixth winter, it was only supposed to last for two summers, to, to the bee hutch, to the junk laying around everywhere. 
it's all an expression of who I am and my priorities. So I have that freedom of expression. Homesteading means the freedom to be healthy. Food I eat, I know what it has eaten. My, my pork, 100% grain fed, no antibiotics, no fillers, no steroids or growth hormones or estrogen or anything else put in it. I know exactly what it has. Why? Because from the time it's weaned from its mother, I have control of it. Wow! My eggs. I know exactly the type of flora and fauna that my chickens free range. The bugs and grass and weeds and stuff that are around along with, I'm very picky about my the food that I feed my chickens. Go check out what, what they do to your food when it's being processed. It's not good for you. Uh, another freedom to be healthy that I am provided by, by homesteading is the freedom to be healthy and moving. I am not a self-motivated person. If you've watched my videos, I've said this time and time and time again. I will not let an animal go without food and water and being taken care of. I have to take care of it. I have to have, I have to spend X amount of time working on firewood every year. I have to maintain my entrance and egress from the homestead all winter long. That's on me. I have to make sure that I have what I need here. If I don't have to do it, I there's a chance it'll get put off. And before we moved up here to this homestead, even homesteading in Port Leiden to a, a limited point, we still did firewood, so I still had that, praise God. But a lot of the time I spent on the couch. I was gonna die on the couch. There's still a, a risk of that. In the winter, things slow way down here. On the homestead, I am free. I have the freedom to be me. Guys, there's a young couple that's putting a trailer in across it but down the road a little ways and they're going to be living there and boy are they in for it <laughs> if i feel like going shooting and wasting a precious commodity of ammunition i have a shooting range if i feel like doing my chores in my boxer briefs i can do that i have done that regularly when it's hot out. Is that weird? When I feel like singing, I do a lot of singing on the homestead. Praising God through, through, through my song. Um, heck, sometimes even some secular music creeps in there a little bit, or just a song pops in my head. Yipping and yapping when I get anxious, I have to work that out somewhere. I am not a normal person by any means. I feel secure on the homestead. There's three ways to do things, the right way, the wrong way, and the army way. Well, there's four. Now it's there's Tracy's way on the homestead. Wow, what a freedom that is. I also have the freedom to fail. To fail. I learn more from my mistakes than I would ever learn from, from any of all of my successes Put together and I do make a lot of mistakes oh my goodness we're cutting fingers and almost falling on a chainsaw and putting a cut in my house from the bucket of the tractor I fail all the time but I have that freedom homesteading it means freedom I am so so blessed to be able to live this lifestyle to have the friends that I have. There will be a link in the description to their What Homesteading Means to Me videos. My wife passed away a year ago on December 23rd. And we had this dream. I wanted to do it with her by my side, but that wasn't possible. 
God had other plans. So I have that freedom to keep this dream alive and keep going. And it is a setback because she, her knowledge was just <laughs> such a blessing to be able to live this lifestyle. And, and, and I hope that no matter where you are, you will experience some of the freedom of saying, hey, under my bed, I have a month's worth of, of meals in jars. Hey guys, check out the uh, hashtag, what does homesteading mean to you in the description below. Just click on it and all these videos will come up. You will get the heart of all of the homesteaders in our group and, and, and some that, that maybe I don't even know. You'll get their heart. Y'all have a great day and God bless.